With alert day coverage right now, this is Wave 3 News. Right now on our alert day, we are taking a look at our network of cameras and live sources here this morning as we are watching rainfall. It's creating flash flooding right now and historic flood levels for the Ohio River in the next few days. Well, we got a lot of video already right there showing the damage been done in the area. We're going to have complete coverage right now of what's being affected. And live pictures from multiple areas of flooding here this morning. Way 3 News reporters Jobina Fortson, Kayla Van Meter out in the trouble spots. You can see there on the left a car halfway underwater. We will talk to both of them coming up in just one minute. Well, good morning to you here at 633 on your Friday alert day coverage here. The floodgates are going up. It's a real mess out there. Please be careful if you're heading out this morning. It's still dark and you're going to run up on water where you did not think it would be. We have two problems. We had the flash flooding this morning with the round of rain that is rolling through, and then we have the river flooding that will only be aggravated by what we're seeing this morning in the next several days. We, because you guys are so precise, we can plan for the river flooding. Absolutely. This, this stuff this morning, though, you can't plan for. Yeah, and we do have some good news just in here at 630 this morning. That flash flood warning that was in effect for Clark and Floyd counties till 815. National Weather Service allowing that uh, to be canceled. So that's some good news. We are seeing some improvements as we take a live look here at radar this morning. Alert day coverage right now. This is Wave 3 News. Yeah, it's an alert day right now with several school closings and delays at the bottom of your screen. They're scrolling there and uh, what a mess we have outside. Yeah, big mess. We're keeping a close eye on the roads here this morning. A lot of problems are tracking here. A live look right now from our storm tracker. You can see emergency crews there uh, on the scene. We have a lot of issues with power lines, accidents, and people just plain old stuck where they are this morning. We'll bring you complete team coverage right now of our alert day. We'll check in live with Kayla Van Meter. She is covering uh, all over Kentucky. We have Jobina. She's in uh, Southern Indiana this morning. Full service here on hey, Can I pick ride. the scene that I want since we have nine? I'll just take our little patio. You want to go back there for breakfast Let's when go we get right up now. here? Okay. A little coffee. Not as much snow back there. Let's check it with meteorologist Brian Good kicking off our team coverage here on this alert day because Brian uh, we have really heavy snow working through parts of Jefferson County right now. Yeah, as you saw from the, uh, the storm truck, you saw the snow on the roadway, not just slush, but snow covered roads we are talking about this morning. With alert day coverage right now, this is Wave 3 News. Alert day coverage continues right now. Several school closings and delays right now. They're scrolling at the bottom of your screen. Yeah, JCPS off school this morning. We're keeping an eye on the severe road conditions right now. We have a look at Live Drive and our SkyTrack cameras over Wave Country. Live look there at Spaghetti Junction this morning. Our team coverage continues right now. Kayla Van Meter and Jobina Fortson. They have live reports coming up in just a few minutes in Kentucky and also Southern Indiana. But first, we need to check in with meteorologist Brian. Look Gunn. at Javina. She looks like she's in Saskatchewan this morning out there and that snow coming down. You were just out in it. It's really coming down. Oh, it is beautiful out there. If, we, if you don't have to drive in it, it's a beautiful snow. But uh, if you do have to drive, though, it's it's not so pretty. I get that. But uh, right now we are dealing with this mild to heavy snow man. In fact, just got a report in of seven inches of snow in Dubois County, not far from Shepherdsville. So this uh, band of snow, it has not moved much at all. I should point that out. Take a look at the animation I'm talking about here. You see that darker blue? It has been expanding at times, but it has barely moved compared to what we had earlier uh, with the snow band.